Today we are remodeling the last bathroom in my house. <laughs> I've already done the guest bathroom and I've already done the half bath toilet room downstairs. And now we finally get to do the ensuite bathroom to the main bedroom. Last one to do, should be fun. We will get to that very much later in the video. <laughs> Just a little reminder, I do have my golden pen giveaway. Look at those lovely golden pens. But should you like a chance to win a golden pen, please leave a nice comment in the below. Golden pens, yay. <laughs> I did think it would be fun to tie this video into this month's Skillshare, so I'm very excited to do this today. <laughs> in case you don't know, Skillshare is an online learning community where you can take video courses on a variety of subjects. Things like illustration, graphic design, photography, film, writing, animation, fine art, business, and today we are focusing on a lifestyle, covering things like productivity, positivity, and design. I'm designing a bathroom. Overall, Skillshare is a great way to just discover new skills and expand your interest in things because that's how I use it. Hi there, I'm a person that needs to always be doing something <laughs> and setting some achievable goals to accomplish. <laughs> like learn how to bake bread. I want to know how to bake bread. <laughs> what house plants should you get and which ones are okay for your cat? This is helpful to me. Just little things to help make this year better. <laughs> Skillshare was very nice and provided me with a link for you guys. So the first thousand people who click the link in the description will get a free trial to Skillshare Premium Membership. After that, it's about $10 a month. The class that I did take for today's video is Interior Design Basics by Lauren Cox. I was excited to learn about interior design because my style is interesting. <laughs> it involves a lot of plushes. I love art, mainly animation, and I think my choices reflect that. In designing my house, I have a habit of getting an idea and just doing it. For example, my ceiling. <laughs> In the lesson, we focus on four elements of interior design. Overall though, as far as my style goes, I guess, I like things clean, organized, simplistic. I like having pops of color, but I also, I'm a nerd and a collector and a dork. <laughs> I do like white furniture, but often white furniture has the cheap looking pegs up and down the sides of it. <laughs> so I add wood vinyl to my furniture. <laughs> It's basically a gigantic sticker. If you watched my last video, you'll know that most recently I've put it in my living room. I also design on a budget <laughs> and that's cheap. <laughs> Tom is the opposite of me. He likes to fill up every little space with all the stuff that he's collected. That's what makes him feel happy and calm. He is Ariel. Look at this stuff. Isn't it neat? That would be Tom. <laughs> In my last video, I did redo our main bedroom and it's funny because Tom and I, after it was done, we were both like, it feels really adult in here. And it was weird to say that because obviously it's not, <laughs> but the room itself just felt upgraded a bit. I think it's because the lights matched the room had a theme and we finally hung a TV properly on the wall and it wasn't just loose on the bookcase. <laughs> this is the guest room, which I'm also using as a digital art corner while we don't have guests. Here is the Funko cat room. The cat does have his own room because he can be smelly at times. Also, it kind of feels like having a cat for a roommate because he knows it's his room and he'll go back to it and hang out in it and stuff and he's our roommate, it's fun. And then here's our treadmill in the dining room. <laughs> I just, I didn't have room for a gym and I was not using the dining room. The bathroom we're remodeling today is mainly Tom's bathroom, even though it's part of the main bedroom. The bathroom with the window mural is mainly my bathroom. There is a reason for this. I'm obsessively clean and Tom is normal. <laughs> so how we work in our marriage and stuff is he has his own spaces and I have mine. If it's a Tom space, I don't mess with it. I don't clean it. I'm not gonna trouble him over it. I'm not gonna nag him about it because it's his space. Tom mainly has his office and his bathroom. He does them how he likes them. <laughs> and then I have my office and my bathroom and I clean those how I wish. <laughs> With the guest bed in the main bedroom, I treat the guest bed as like my hangout space during the day when I don't want to be in my office that's full of paint fumes. And then Tom uses the main bedroom as his hangout spot during the day. The main bedroom is something we still share though. So Tom does the majority of the cleaning in that room, but I am allowed to clean it if I feel like it. <laughs> and then we have what we call mutual territories. So this is the dining room, gym, kitchen, lounge, and the downstairs restroom. These areas we both clean, we both upkeep. Mutual grounds. <laughs> I like like doing it this way because it means that we both have our own creative spaces, we both do work from home, we each have a space for our work, we each have a space for our breaks, and then we have a bunch of mutual ground where we can hang out. We are lucky that we both have similar styles where essentially the childhood fantasy of what you think your house will look like when you grow up, we're living that. <laughs> 
Now for the interior design elements. On the topic of color, turns out the color that I picked for my office is a spa color, which provides productivity in a peaceful environment. I like that. Accident, happy accident. Also in my office, I've made my workstation into a little house because the thought of that made me happy. <laughs> balance is also a part of interior design. I like the living room where I've balanced out the plushes on each side. I've done it. Accidentally, I've done it. <laughs> Another element is repetition or rhythm of the room. I kind of take this as theming. <laughs> and my house does have themes for every room. Kirito's room, it's the collectible Funko room. <laughs> The lounge is Pokemon themed. Our bedroom's now also Pokemon themed. My office is themed in pastel. The rhythm for the downstairs bathroom. I have the two pieces of artwork facing each other, each on the neutral walls. The opposite sides are the colorful walls. All the picture frames match. And I've included some wood elements because often Studio Ghibli does revolve around nature and I love it. <laughs> now for the project and using what we've learned to remodel. Tom has given me permission to do up his bathroom. I think mainly because he's jealous of the other two bathrooms. He wants one too. <laughs> so here is the bathroom. We're gonna clean this. And yeah. Yay. Let's get our stuff. Stuff. Towel from Aki. Toilet roll holder. Like rip. <laughs> First, I'm going to clean Tom's bathroom and take everything out and wipe everything down. I'm gonna repurpose this. Oh, now we clean. Better looking back to it. Yeah, just gotta fix that wall. I did fill all the holes in the walls and then I repainted the walls the same color. Paint. Uh, I'm not even sure what I'm taking out. I guess the ceiling. There's not much to tape off, I guess. Around here too. I'll do that. What an angle. Hi there. Hi, hi. Then I painted some accent walls using the same color from the bedroom and have it match the other room. <laughs> I did decide to paint around the windowsill again spontaneously and I liked it. I did like it. <laughs> I ordered and built some new furniture for the room. So we have an under the sink cabinet. And then I also got a mirror cabinet for Tom that's actually tall enough for him. Here's what we've done so far. I really like it. I think I've decided what to do. <laughs> Look at all the lovely paint. I'm in the shower. Ah. <laughs> am I gonna spend my day standing on the toilet? Yeah, yeah I am. Okay, so Fiji, here we go. We do both love Japan, and so that's the theme for this bathroom. And I need to go for the cliche. And on the top of the wall, I am painting Mount Fuji. I am keeping the mountain just at the top because the bathroom is quite small. <laughs> I've already got some bigger furniture pieces in it, and I didn't want to do too overpowering or loud of a mural for this one. But also, in the way that I did it, it does make the ceiling feel taller and the room feel taller. I did add a hidden Mickey as well. Added some cherry blossom looking things up top. I did put in a little bamboo rack 
dang Japanese character towels that we get on. I put his bath bombs in a jar and I do really like his Toy Story alien toilet roll holder from Japan. He got that in Tokyo Disneyland and he, it's so Tom. And here is the finished room. golden pen giveaway so should you like a chance to win a golden pen please leave a nice comment down below i've got the ship and i've got the hat yay and if you'd like a free trial of skillshare there is that link in the description <laughs> thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed the video and learning about my design decisions and if you can think of anything else you'd like for me to do to my house i might try it let me know <laughs> hope you have a lovely day and bye 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 bye